Welcome back. My name is Steve, and this is my boy Honey. We got ourselves a Weller episode here. It's a Weller bottle that everybody wants, but nobody ever opens it when they get it. And for whatever reason, there's not much reviews on it either. So today we'll pour a little bit of it, have a little taste, and I'll let you know what my thoughts are in the end. So here we go. Two notable things about this Weller single barrel bourbon here. Number one is the most rarest and the most expensive one out of the Weller lineup. So we got the Green Weller, the Weller Special Reserve, the most economical version. We got the Weller 12, which everyone loves that bottle, the black bottle. We also have the Weller Antique 107, the red one. People love that one as well. It's a little bit higher on the proof. And then we go into the territory of a little bit harder to find. We got the Blue Weller, which is the Weller Full Proof. Comes in at 114 proof, I believe. So it's a little bit hotter than the other Wellers. And then we got the Weller CYPB, the white one. Very hard to find, very expensive. And then we come to the Weller Single Barrel, the orange one, the latest release of the Weller lineup. I, I think there's like a what, Daniel Weller that came out earlier this year or whatever, but um, we're not counting that. Now, I'm not sure exactly why it's the rarest or they just don't make that much of this Weller Single Barrel. I don't know why, but supposedly it's the most rarest. It's the hardest one to find under the Weller colored bottle lineup. So that's number one. Number two, the price. If you do run across it, you know, by chance at a liquor store or one, now you'll see it for $1,000, $800, which is crazy. And that's not the craziest part. The craziest part is that I got this bottle for $39. Yes, $39 at Costco. I'll put the receipt somewhere up here. Just crazy. Think about it. $39 bottle selling for $1,000 normally when you could find it. It's outrageous. It's preposterous and it's almost blasphemous. So. So that's the second thing about this Weller bottle. It's crazy expensive, crazy hard to find. And um, I actually don't know why. Uh, even if you consider the rarity of it, even if you consider the hype of it, it's just 2000 plus percent increase from the retail price. I, I don't understand, I don't understand. But that's how it is these days. And maybe that's why nobody really opens this bottle. So, so let's get going, let's pour this bottle up and see what's what on the taste. <laughs> This orange bottle comes in at 48.5 alcohol, so 97 proof, which is not that hot at all. It's under 100 proof. So let's go for the nose first, see what's what. A very light on the nose, uh, no oaky presence to it. Sweet and vanilla and caramelly. Maybe a little bit of scent of orange in it. But just near main vanillas and caramels coming through the nose. Let's go for a sip, guys. Let's see what this is all about. Cheers. Okay, the first impression is it's very mellow. It's very mellow. The flavor doesn't last long. The flavor is very brief in your mouth. You gotta go for it again. Yeah, your, your typical caramels and vanillas are there, but it's not too sweet either. Maybe a little bit apple-ish coming through, like cooked apple taste. And towards the end, there's a little bit of like a medicine taste, like a, like uh, like like Robitussin aftertaste, like like Nyquil aftertaste. Yeah, yeah. There's some bitterness to it. I don't know if it's like oaky bitterness, but it's a little bit bitter. And again, the, the vanillas and and caramels are there, but it's very short lived. The fruit is almost not there. It's just a hint of it. Not much peppery or or spicy at all. Again, there's that aftertaste that I'm not too fond of. It's, it's, it's almost like, um, like, you, like I, I, the best way to describe it is like a cough medicine uh, aftertaste. You know, after you have a, you know, have a little bit of a cough medicine and it goes down your throat and has a little bit of lingering taste at the end, it has that um, taste. I don't know why. And I had it before too. Um, I remember having that specific taste. Let's go for another sip. Yeah, there's some bitterness to it in the palate that sort of lingers, but everything disappears rather quickly. Everything is thin. Everything is shallow, a little bit too instant, if I could say that. And I gotta keep going in for the taste, trying to figure more stuff out of the, out of the juice, but I'm not getting much. Yeah, it's sweet, I give it that. 
maybe a little bit of cooked apple, like soft cooked apple. And then there's that, yeah, there's that, that medicine taste that, that sort of lingers. There you have it, guys. That's my review of this Weller single barrel bourbon, orange label. It's an okay bourbon. It's a good sipper. Don't expect anything more. It's just an okay bourbon. Very thin and light and easy drinking. That's about it. I would say try at a bar if you could find it. But even at a bar, if it's anything over $50, that just, just pass it. Just go for the Weller 12 or go for the Weller Antique 107. I think those two are you know pretty good choices when it comes to Weller or weed at bourbon. I think it's the first bourbon that I've said that I don't recommend it. Um, you know, if you could find it for $40, sure, maybe. But anything over $100, which even $100, you can't find it. Anything over that, it's, I think you should pass on it. That's my personal recommendation on this Weller. So there it is, guys. That's my brief review of this Weller single barrel bourbon. The most hard to find and the most expensive of the Weller lineup. Let me know in the comment section if you tried it. Have you tried this Weller orange label single barrel bourbon? What do you think about it? Or what do you think of this crazy prices that it's going for? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Otherwise, thanks so much, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.